All right, guys, Slow Train Coast is coming in to you with a video about decanting again. So I put out a video about decanting not too long ago, and I gave you pretty much a simple rundown of what it is. So anyways, uh, let's do this again, right? Uh, so right with, I got a three mil syringe without the tip, right? You can get these at Walgreens or whatever uh, insulin syringes are sold, right? You ask, can I get a three mil syringe, just the barrel, not the needle, please? Sometimes you'll get the needle, you can take it out if it's unscrew if it's screwable. Uh, try not to get the ones with the needles. Try to get this one right. And now, in order for this to work, you take the the cologne's gonna come like this, right? You're gonna take that cap off. You're gonna be left with this little knob right here. Okay, if the hole doesn't fit on this, you're gonna have to get something hot like a nail, a little L wrench or whatever. You gotta heat that up. Imagine, you know, you have the L wrench or whatever. And you're gonna heat it up slightly 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 and make sure there's no soot or anything on the on this and you're gonna put it inside the barrel and what you're gonna want to do is gently make it bigger that way it fits on top on top here once you get a connection uh, don't open it more than it has to be you know it's kind of have to be like airtight right and if you made if you had success you push you're gonna push this down you're gonna push it down and you're gonna start sucking up and hopefully what you're left with is some fragrance in a barrel man got some fragrance right here and then you're just gonna simply get your decan Ooh, i was about to use the ambroxan one uh anyways i got a couple of orders like i said i got the five mil decan cell and this person just uh, got an extra uh, ambroxan on me an ambroxan solution that i'll make like at 13 percent 10 to 15 i'll say 13 percent so you grab your container, whatever you're gonna do, and then simply just put it in, bam. Now, sometimes uh, it's not gonna go as smooth as that. You know, sometimes when you press it down, it ain't gonna, you press it down, you pull it up, right? Now, sometimes it's not gonna do that. So sometimes you're gonna have to kinda check it off. You're gonna have to keep pumping and pumping until you see that needle move up and up and up and up right to fill the the barrel that happens usually with my invictus for some reason my invictus does that i gotta kind of just jack it off <laughs> and um yeah so that's the ooh, that was dylan blue right okay um and now again uh according to everything go smooth you know you do that you put a little teflon tape right inside which is plumber's tape. I got it right here. I'll do that later on though. And uh, you ship or use it for yourself or whatever. The reason we use Teflon tape or plumber's tape is for it to um, not evaporate and not spill and transport if you are selling these and they're going across state lines or wherever they're going. They'd be nice and it's just that added protect, added layer of protection, right? And um, But check it out, like one million lucky I forgot how you take this off, but I know there's a way of taking it off, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, the same thing with Invictus. If you have Invictus, you know it's like, where, where I put a syringe? Am I going to have to do it old school method? Because sometimes on colognes, man, it, when the syringe method doesn't work, you're going to have to go old school, man. Just t -t 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 right in there, right? So this one, you just get off of the Invictus. You just get a simple little knife right there, some scissors, and you open it. You twist it until this cap falls up. You take the cap, and then you're going to be left with that little nozzle in there. And then you put the cap on. It's super easy with the Invictuses. The Luckies are a little more huh, tricky. In that case, I go with the... Uh, I got these at Amazon. I have funnels. Yeah, they're called funnels. Right? So, one minute in Lucky, right? Instead of doing the old school method, I'm going to cup this. And I'm just going to keep spraying. Keep spraying, right? Until, of course, it's filled, right? You'll see. Look at that. Nice. Now, you're going to get a little residue on top, man. You know what I mean? But... That's fine. You got the one minute lucky. Boom, boom, boom. I usually don't let that go to waste. I usually end up using it. Let me see. Let me fill this little guy up. Mm -hmm. And boom, it's already full. This, like this, that's that's pretty fine because you're gonna put the the stem in there. You're gonna put it. Now it's full, right? Boom. You got your one minute lucky there. I usually. I see a little bit left over. I usually put it on my clothes. Just, you know, that way I just don't feel like I'm wasting stuff, right? Now, that's only for certain colognes. Um, 
And again, sometimes you're gonna have to go old school. For whatever reason, you're gonna have to go old school. But don't be afraid because, just don't be afraid. Anyways, uh, this one I can use the syringe method, but for fucking shows, <sighs> you're gonna try to line it as best as you can and you're gonna just spray. You know, spray lightly, spray lightly. You know, sometimes it does squirt like that, which is something you wanna try to do. Just go slightly, slowly, try to feel it out instead of just going crazy with it. Once you get to the top part, it's a little more tricky. That's where that whole, um, go, like going steady and slow and try to get it to kind of like spit out at you. That's where that works a lot. So yeah, uh, one more thing. Um, well, you know what? Let's fill this guy. I was gonna use a syringe, but you know, now that we're here, it looks like it's not really giving me any um any problems. Okay, so we're gonna fill this one to the top. Try to slowly but surely. See, like that noise right there is not be is because I'm not I'm not aligning it properly. So like again, try to align it as best as you can, and just go with the flow, man. You know what, I'm gonna have to use the syringe method. I don't wanna waste this stuff. Especially why it sells Lana Wheat. Uh, Intense is a very good cologne. But anyways, um, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention is the this, when you're doing it, sometimes when you keep spraying, it's gonna spray back at you. You know what I mean? So try to do that whole spitting method. Nice and controlled. That way it goes in there and none of the stuff just wastes. You know what I mean? Because what's worse than wasted cologne? You know what I mean? Let me see if I have my um, syringe for this so I can uh, finish this bottle real quick and get you guys on the way, man. And of course, if you guys want to do some fancy stuff, man, you can get on the printer, go on um, on YouTube, get the get the best picture you can for the cologne, the way it comes in the box. You print that out and uh, you go on PowerPoint and you measure it and you get you print it out and then you just print a nice little label. Uh, with regular paper, you can, you can use um, tape to tape it all around. It's going to look nice and professional and it looks way better than uh, a simple um, label maker, whatever you call these labels. So anyways, guys, uh, again, not much to it. Um, if you guys want to start decanting and start selling some of your stuff, that way your collection will grow. That's what I did with mine. You'll be all right. Now, I overfilled it right here, right? So when I put the top... When I put the top, it might overspill, right? So what you do in this case, you put the little thing in there, the, and then you kind of pump it up until you can feel. See, it's already inside. So that way when you put it in, no leakage, no nothing. If you want to test that out, okay, I can already feel that it works, right? Sometimes you got to test them out and see if they work. You got to pump them, and if you want to waste a spray, and uh, make sure that everything's working properly, I would suggest you do that if you're selling. If you're not, it's for you. Take a gamble, and for the most part, they're gonna be working. One out of every 80 will kind of will will be faulty. You know what I mean? But it's super rare. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think, man. Slow tranquil sense. Hashtag Team Over Spray 25 sprays or less. Don't be a wuss, man. Keep spraying, my friends. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that YouTube bullshit. And I'll see you guys in the next.